Okay, so let's start looking at how we can potentially uh, investigate angles to start looking into to betting systems um, or creating your own betting system. Um, one of the features that we recently added in um, is, is called Pace. Uh, this is a relatively new way of analyzing horses and I know that there's, um, there's systems actually out, um, out available to purchase um, that um, base the, the criteria around pace and it's not something that's readily available um, as yet. It's obviously available now on our website. There's one particular system uh, by a tipster called Dave Clapp who um, I'm not going to give away the, the sequence of the system, but his uh, criteria is based around pace, and to obtain the to obtain the data, it's it's, it's not overly time consuming, but it's certainly not as quick as um, clicking a few buttons on our on our dashboard. So, for the purpose of this um, example video, I'm going to use pace, where the horse is pace nine and ten, nine and ten being the highest, um, and then I'm going to filter by favourites. So, what we're looking for here is horses that went off as favourite or joint favourite and their pace rating was either a 9 or a 10. As you can see here, the pace data is only available from September 2017, so it's still a relatively new feature to the website. Um, so let's just see what this throws up. So I'm going to leave everything else as default. As you can see, there are many other filters and features that we can, we can add in. So you can um, look at the headgear worn as, an, as arguments for, for angles for horses running with blinkers for, for example there's systems based around that um, and again you can see that we, we added that data in relatively recently in 2015 uh, you can start filtering by the official rating so you can type in uh, your min and max odds range uh, sorry min and max number range and then you have the, uh, the SP range so that's the industry SP uh, predicted odds, which are the, the, the odds uh, published by the Racing Post uh, newspaper each morning. So that's the uh, projected odd, SP odds, so they stay with the horse after the event. Uh, you can filter by the amount of runners, the distance, the class. Um, I said it's all fairly self-explanatory and it's, it's very good trial and error. It's a good uh, database to use to, to see what sort of uh, outputs you can get. As I said, another angle to look at um, is, is laying as well. It's not just all about backing and seeing a profitable system that way. Um, laying is, um, is another way to sort of investigate what sort of potentials there are. Anyway, so for the purpose of this quick trial, I'm just going to use 2018 data. Um, I'm going to select all. I'm not going to touch any of the days of the week or the month. And I'm going to show you this new function, which is direct to Excel. Um, so if I click on direct to Excel, clicking on that there should give you a little... Uh, pop-up box depends how your, your Windows operating system is set up. So instantly we've got that data available as an Excel uh, download report. We just need to click on click on that and then click open and the data is ready to use in an Excel download and you can tidy that up by um, selecting the data range, uh, putting a board around it, uh, center aligning the, the data for instance, however you want to do that. So the, the, the bit I want I'm keen to look at is the, um, the profitability or not of this. So to the far right hand side we've got the SP win return which is the industry SP, we've got each way return and Betfair win return and as I said these are all based on a 10 unit stake. So clicking on the SP win return highlights the whole column and shows that that's, uh, that would have generated a £273 or unit profit based on 10 units. Shows that there was 200 30 minus the top row is 229 um, horse selections that met that criteria. So it's it's operating at better than one point per, per horse per selection so far this year. Looking at Betfair, this should bring up a bigger return as it generally better odds than it does. So that's 435 um, pounds or points. So it's 43.5 um, points per unit stake. Although you do have to deduct from that the um, the commission that you pay. Now from this, so this is already giving grounds for being a uh, potentially profitable angle to look at. I'm just going to open up another um, another tab here and insert a pivot table. I'm not going to give a, an in-depth Excel lesson, but I'm just going to go through some of the basics and show you how you can then start to analyze this data. So we can look then by by date, and we can drag down to look by how much profit potentially we're making per day. So we can look at the 
number of races per day, and then we want to look at the sum. So just convert this to um, to a currency. My Excel finally catches up with itself. Okay, so currency, and that will show you the daily returns that we would have seen uh, a good day there back in 25th of January. And that gives you a way of analyzing the data, okay? And further to that, you can start adding in additional features, so runners, so you can select, uh, for instance, <clears throat> only races where there were, I don't know, eight or less horses. And you can see what impact that has on the bottom line. So there's a lower profit, but obviously there's less selections. So you can then start filtering by um, race course, for instance. So you can add in the, the track details. You wanted to look at, <coughs> uh, I don't know, let's say we wanted to look at Ascot, Cheltenham, Cattery, Carlisle, just at random. You can see then that that selection criteria. So it's, it's entirely up to you. There's, there's a multitude of angles you can approach this from. I'm just going to go back to the, the actual dashboard and I'm going to click on the get results. So we've already clicked the direct to Excel. I'm going to click get, get results and just go through. It should be the same output and the same summary, but just explain that a bit further to you. So that output is just loading up now. And what the website now will do is automatically scroll down to the top of the data. Um, and again, for previous members, um, if I scroll, you'll see that the, the heading has just chopped off this um, this video, but you can see the heading, the header stays at the top of the screen. So it's easy enough to, to align what you're looking at. You don't have to keep scrolling up or down. So that is the same data that I've just exported to Excel. And we're just gonna look at the summary tables down here. And as we discovered on the, um, the Excel download, it's profitable both by Industry SP and Betfair SP. This shows the, the yield or return on income. It's basically a sum of the profit divided by your total stake. And generally anything above 5% um, is recognized as being a, a good robust starting point. Obviously, if you've got fewer than 100 races, it's probably not, um, it's not a big enough sample size to, to give any statistical relevance. But it, it certainly looks that from what I've thrown up here, it's, uh, it's got potential. Um, so this should only show favorites and joint favorites because I've already filtered out anything other than that in the table. So it should align to what we've, uh, what we've got in the main table there. Now, what I'm going to do is just look to increase, uh, add in a filter down the bottom here for today. Let's just see if anything in that selection criteria met, uh, meets today's uh, races. And I'm just gonna press get results and hope they display down the bottom this output. Here we go, it scrolls down. So you can see there that it's found two selections for today. Um, and it's it's now eight o'clock at night, so I can go on to uh, my the app or the Betfair website and find out how those horses got on. And I'm just looking through now, and I can see that both of those selections actually won again today. So it's a shame I didn't look at this 12 hours ago and I could have, uh, I could have put some money on that. <clears throat> but the, obviously the favorite, before the race isn't known, so it's the favorite as per the, the, the racing post forecast pricing that is used for um, for pre-race predictions. Now, obviously, if one of these horses drifted badly and another horse steamed in, this it would have shown as a, a selection for the morning, um, but then when we look at the results the next day, it would not have um, highlighted because it didn't go off as favorite. So you've got to bear that in mind that prices do fluctuate and anything derived around um, a favorite before the race is purely based on the, the forecasted SP odds before the, the race takes place itself. So I hope that I've given you um, a starting point perhaps to, to start looking at that. And as I said, I've picked that totally at random. Um, there's no rhyme or reason for that to show profitable. It could have shown negative, um, but, but there's a magnitude of uh, different filters that you can build in and um, factors that you can sort of start investigating and if you're a bit of an excel geek it's um, very useful to be able to download that and as i said with your pivot tables you can manipulate it um, put conditional formatting in build yourself um, a, a bit of a system there and all you need to do then is tap the today button each day click direct to excel and you can just paste 
the upcoming selections in or paste in yesterday's. Let's just have a look to see what yesterday threw up, if there was any there yesterday. You can add those straight into your, um, your ready-made Excel system. So you show that there was two that selected yesterday and, and both of those lost. So you can see that the um, uh, Iskabeg Lane uh, fell and Oscar Denarius pulled up yesterday. So the two that were selected from, from yesterday both failed. Um, okay, so I think that's given you a, a, an in-depth view, more of an in-depth view of what the filters uh, do and how they can be used to potentially start looking at uh, how creating a betting system works.